So this video is about uh, how to add X plugins to gedit and how you to add extra themes that are not available by default to gedit and you should add plugins to gedit because that way you can convert your plain old text editor to a full fledged IDE okay so let me show you open gedit now when I go to tools sorry view and bottom panel I've got my integrated terminal here okay let's bring it a bit down okay so how did I get this uh, it's simple you have to go to preferences plugins and here you'll uh, have your plugins okay but you'll not find a lot of them initially so what you have to do is open your terminal and type in sudo app install gedit plugins press enter enter your password and it will work I'm not going to do it because I already have it all now after that you'll see a lot of plugins and so the one for embedded terminal is this one embedded terminal and there is there are a lot of them but this one this session saver it's a life saver because not a life saver but it is a time saver because like if you have multiple files open let me open a couple of files okay and uh, any okay like this python file okay so if i have multiple of multiple files open and i need to close gedit or my shut down my laptop so i'll have to open all of them again to resume my work that will be a waste of time so what you can do is you can just go to tools and save session enter a name for your session save it when you close your uh, gedit uh, and reopen it so again what you have to do is go again in tools and recover whichever session you want to recover okay so that's about it now let's talk about the themes so there are some themes available by default but I don't like any of them so I got another and that's this one so if you want uh, additional themes yeah, you just so have to open your browser and google search for them that's as easy mm, and so uh, I sw clicked on this uh, site uh, from the google search okay and when I click on this link because I wanted uh, not the blackboard I wanted uh, one theme from here yeah this code zone so uh, on clicking the link uh, let me click the link so when I click on the link I'll be redirected to github and uh, one thing about github is that you cannot download a particular file you will have to download the entire repository so what you can do to download because I don't want all other uh, files I just want this one so why should I download all of them so what you can do is uh, you can use wget okay uh, you can also use curl but wget is pre-installed so why install something else so see here you don't see HTTPS so click on it and now you can see HTTPS double click copy this link if you don't know where, how wget works then it's very simple just write wget and paste in the link of the file okay make sure that the URL uh, is of the file so yeah now when I present it will be downloaded and I have already downloaded it so I'm not going to download it again okay so that will do the job just press enter and to add uh, the file after downloading is completed just go again in preferences font and color and here you see the plus sign click on the plus sign then this is the downloaded file I'll have to click here and add scheme but I've already added it so I won't do that and that's how it's done and so yeah that's all for this video